Are you tired of repetitive work eating up your day? What if I tell you there's an incredibly easy way to build AI agents in 2025 without writing a single line of code? Today, I'm going to introduce Lindy, a powerful no-code platform that allows literally anyone to create and deploy AI agents with ease. Lindy is all about automating anything that you're doing manually, like transforming them into what they call your personal AI employees. Imagine automating tasks from summarizing your meetings, replying to emails, doing lead qualifications, creating invoices, customer support, or even doing cold email outreach. They offer hundreds of templates and dozens of integrations with your favorite apps to make it super simple to get started. And now Lindy just rolled out their biggest update yet, introducing powerful features that bring AI employees to life. The first update is Agent Builder. So Agent Builder lets you create fully functional AI assistants with just a prompt. It's as easy as texting ChatGPT. The second update is Autopilot. Autopilot gives Lindy the ability to use a computer like a human 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. It can browse websites, interact with platforms and automate tasks like blocking spam or managing accounts all with logic, memory and precision. The platform is designed for non-technical users, meaning you just type exactly what you want the workflow to do and it keeps running the same 24-7 in the background, looking for the trigger and automatically executing the entire workflow. And this truly replaces human efforts with agentic execution at any stage. And today in this video, I'm going to show you how Lindy makes it easy for you to create your own personal AI employees, whether you're starting from scratch in the flow editor by defining triggers or actions or leveraging their powerful new agent builder. Now let me quickly jump onto my computer screen and show you Lindy in action. So this right here is Lindy AI and this is the AI agent builder that I've been talking about. And if you do want to build your own AI agents in natural language, the first thing that you got to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to lindy.ai. And as soon as you visit their website, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. And now the first thing that you got to do is to click on this try for free button right here. And now as you can see, it says build AI agents in minutes to automate workflow, save time and grow your business. So first thing first, go ahead and sign up for a new account and log into your dashboard. And now once you log into your account, this is going to be the kind of dashboard that you will see. And now to create a new AI agent, you can click on this option called as new agent. Or if you want to quickly get started with a template, you can scroll all the way down and click on this option called as see all templates. And it will now open up all these templates that you can start using in just a single click. For example, here we have medical scribe, web researcher, sales meeting recorder, then we have email trigger, meeting coach, then we have pull request reviewer, then we have email negotiator, new lead qualifier, influencer outreach, candidate screener. I mean, all of these are pre-built templates that you can start using right away. But in this video, I'll show you how you can create a AI agent from scratch. So if you want to use one of these templates, so let's say you're looking for a particular use case and if you're able to find a template in here, you can click on that one and start using it right away. So to create a new AI agent, what I'll do is I'll click on this option called as new agent or click on this option right here. And now a pop up something like this will appear. And now you have two options. You can either start from scratch where you can use the AI agent builder to build it using your own natural language, or you can also use any of their existing templates. But in this case, I'll click on the start from scratch button right here. So there you go. This right here is the flow editor and this is where you will build your AI agent. And now as for creating an AI agent, you have two options. If you want to, you can manually create an AI agent using this flow editor where you set a trigger and click on this button right here and click on this option right here and select an action and add nodes and connect them together and manually configure them and you can build a AI agent normally you would do. But the interesting part is that now you no longer have to do that. I mean, if you want to build it this way, you totally can, but it can get technical and confusing at times. That is where this new AI agent builder comes into play. If you click on this ask button right here, it says ask the agent builder and now it opens up a chat interface here. And now all you gotta do is to type what kind of AI agent you want to build in natural language and hit enter and now the agent builder will build it for you. And now just as to show you a demo, let's say I want to create an AI agent that will take a YouTube video URL as the input and then write a SEO optimized blog post and then a LinkedIn post and also a Twitter thread. So that is the basically the AI agent that I want to build. So basically I want to automate the entire content posting workflow. And now this right here is the prompt I'll give and it says an agent that takes a YouTube video URL as input and then creates a SEO optimized blog post, LinkedIn post and Twitter thread and display the same on the screen. And now all I gotta do is to click on the send message section right here and now wait for it. And now it says, I'll help you create an AI agent that takes a YouTube video URL and creates SEO optimized content for different platforms. And now it says, perfect. I understand that you want to create an AI agent. All right. Let me confirm the workflow. When a user sends a message, extract the YouTube video data, create an SEO optimized blog post using AI, create LinkedIn post 
using AI and a thread using AI display all three pieces of the content to the chat. Okay. And now I can simply hit yes. And later I'll also show you how we can edit this workflow or let's say this agent such that it posts the content directly to our LinkedIn, let's say account. Okay. After that, I mean, even after creating a workflow or let's say a, a agent, you can make changes to it using this input box right here. I'll show how to do that in a second, but in which ways let's wait for the AI agent to complete creating this one first. So there you go. The agent builder is done creating the workflow and I can find all the nodes and the uh, agent in the right side here and now if I had to manually create it using the flow editor it would have at least took me like what 25 or th let's say 30 minutes and that is exactly what I was able to achieve in less than two minutes using this agent builder right here so it first receives a message and then that's going to be a YouTube video URL and then it will extract the YouTube video data then create a blog post a LinkedIn post and also a Twitter thread and display the content. So that is the currently the flow of this particular agent right here and now I'll click on this test button right here to test our AI agent so I can make it a bit bigger and it says hi I'll help you create SEO optimized content from YouTube videos just send me a YouTube video URL and I'll generate SEO optimized blog post LinkedIn post and Twitter thread all right so let me quickly go ahead and grab a YouTube video URL so here I have opened up my own YouTube channel and for example I'll copy the URL of this YouTube video that is about cloning a website in a single click and next up I'll enter the YouTube video URL in this input box right here and after that I'll simply click on the send button and now our AI agent will get to work it will extract the data as you can see this node is in action and it is extracting the video data and once it have the video data it will go ahead and create the blog post LinkedIn post and Twitter thread so let's wait for it so it seems like data collection is completed and now it is creating the blog post okay let's wait so there you go the execution is now complete and if i scroll all the way to the top it first went ahead and okay so it first went ahead and extracted the youtube video data and then created all these blog posts we have a linkedin post and also twitter thread so this right here is the seo optimized blog post we have all the subheadings all these bullet points tables list and all that and here we have the linkedin post it is just discovered a tool that feels almost illegal really nice hook and here we have a twitter thread as well and all of that has been separated into different threads and there you go this is how simple it is and we just went ahead and told the agent builder that we want to create our AI agent that takes a YouTube video URL as an input and then create a blog post and now the beauty of this is that you can now customize the same such that it let's say uh, post the content automatically to LinkedIn. For example, let's say I want to modify this workflow or this AI agent such that we give a YouTube video URL and now the AI agent creates a LinkedIn post and then automatically publishes the same on our profile. And for that, I'll go ahead and say, I want to modify the workflow such that it automatically publishes the generated post to my LinkedIn account. And now I'll click on send button. And now the agent builder will go ahead and make changes to this existing workflow and modify it such that it will create the content and then automatically publishes the same to my LinkedIn account. Okay, so let's wait for it. And now it says perfect. I can see you have a LinkedIn account connected. So if this is your first time, you will find a connect button in here and you can click on this button and just authorize your LinkedIn account such that Lindy can post on behalf of you. And now it says, let me modify your workflow to automatically publish the LinkedIn post after it is created. So here is what I'll add to your workflow. After creating the LinkedIn post content, automatically publish it to your LinkedIn account using create a simple post action and then continue to create the Twitter thread and display all the content. And now I'll say yes and I'll hit enter. And now if you want to, you can further modify it such that it automatically publishes the blog post to your WordPress website and let's say the Twitter thread directly to your Twitter account or let's say X account. So that is also possible. In which case, let's wait for it to complete first. So there you go. The agent builder has went ahead and added a new node that publishes the content to LinkedIn. And one more thing to keep in mind is that even though the agent builder will help you to create this entire flow or workflow, you can manually make changes too. Let's say you want to add a new node or make changes to existing nodes. You can totally do that. You have options for that too. In which case, next up, let's just go ahead and try to run this workflow and see if the AI agent is able to post the content to a LinkedIn profile. So I'll click on the test button right here. I'll copy the same video URL, uh, copy link address, head back, and I'll paste the same in here. Maybe I can remove this timestamp and click on send. And now what I'm expecting this AI agent to do is that it creates a blog post and then creates a LinkedIn post, but the AI agent automatically posts the same to my LinkedIn account. In which case, let's wait for it. So there you go. The AI is now writing the blog post. And now once that's done, it will start creating the LinkedIn post. So let's see. Okay, so we have reached the conclusion part of our blog post. Let's see. 
all right so seems like that part is now complete and now it is creating the linkedin post okay so there you go here we have the linkedin post and it seems like the linkedin post is now created and now it is going to run this particular node that says publish to linkedin and it is now creating a simple post all right and now it will take this content and publish the same to my linkedin account and that's done so let me quickly go ahead and open my linkedin profile so this right here is my linkedin account and as you can see we don't have any post yet so let me quickly go ahead and refresh and let's see there you go our lindy ai agent has went ahead and published this content to our linkedin account so i basically went ahead and gave a youtube video url and now it has created a blog post created a linkedin post and even published the same to my linkedin account how easy right now the thing is that if you want to you can actually create a ai agent or a workflow that completely automates the entire process of managing your social media handles for example you could create a google sheet and populate it with some keywords or let's say youtube videos about which you want to create content on your blog linkedin twitter or any other platform and you can schedule this agent to run automatically i know every day at a specified time the agent runs and it keeps posting content all by itself without you having to do anything i know this is how simple it is to create a workflow or let's say ai agent using lindy and next step i'll click on this new agent option and create a new agent from scratch i know yet another thing that i want to introduce is the autopilot mode so basically lindy can now access a full fledged computer and operate the computer just like a normal human would so the agent will operate the computer 24 7 and you can instruct the ai agent how you want the agent to use the computer and you can ask the ai agent to perform anything for example a simple workflow could be something like let's say you want to you want the ai agent to actively monitor your twitter account or let's say x profile and then block all the spams and you know mentions like go through all the mentions and then block all the spam accounts if you want to you can do that i mean the possibilities are truly endless you are giving the ai agent access to a full-fledged computer and you can just ask the ai agent to do whatever you want to so just as to show you a demo of this computer use module or let's say feature right within lindy i'll go ahead and give a prompt that makes use of the same and now this writer is the prompt i give and it says create an agent that uses computer to search the web for a particular keyword that the user gives and then create a LinkedIn post based on the keyword and post the same to user's LinkedIn account. And now I'll click on the send option and there you go. The AI agent started working on the same and now let's wait for it to complete the same first. The agent builder has went ahead and created the workflow and I can find the workflow in here. And it says, I'll help you create an AI agent that uses computer automation to search the web for keywords and create LinkedIn posts. And it just asked me to confirm if I understand your workflow correctly. And I just went ahead and told yes. And there you go. Here we have the full fledged workflow ready. And this writer is the computer use node that Lindy uses to do pretty much anything that you ask the AI agent to do. And now to test it out, I'll click on this test button right here. Okay. And now all I got to do is to give a keyword and now the Lindy AI agent will automatically go ahead and use a computer and do the research, find all the data points and then create a post, let's say a LinkedIn post and automatically publishes the same to my LinkedIn account. So in this case, let's say the future of AI, oops, AI in 2026. So this is the keyword I'll give and I'll click on the send button. Okay. So as you can see, it says start computer and setting up the browser. So basically Lindy goes ahead and start using a real computer and then does everything that we asked for. And now the kind of opportunities that it opens up is truly endless. You can now give AI agent to access to a computer and ask it to do pretty much anything. So in this case, we are actually asking the AI agent to do some research on this keyword right here. That is AI future of 2026. And then it, okay, there you go. Here we have a web browser opened up and maybe I can make it in full screen. Let's see if I want to, I can even take control of the same. So our AI agent visited google.com and searched for the keyword future of AI in 2026 and prediction strengths. And now it searched for the same. And another cool thing is that you can literally see pretty much everything the AI agent is doing. So there you go. It has went ahead and opened up an article on the Deloitte website. And now it is shown with a cookie consent pop-up the thing is that the AI agent will automatically go ahead and close this cookie consent pop-up all by itself and if you want to manually take control over it you can totally do that as well so there you go it has closed the cookie consent pop-up and now we can find the article in here and now it is going to read the entire article and now it will maybe visit a couple of other pages and scrape the content and after that 
once it has got all the content it will prepare a linkedin post and then automatically publishes the same to a linkedin account and if you want to you can even set up an ai agent such that it actively monitors your x account or any other platform for that matter and it will keep track of all the spams and then block all the you know accounts in real time or i mean you can use this computer use plugin or let's say node within lindy to do pretty much anything so okay so it says continue scrolling to read about physical ai and software in ai all right so it is doing all the research so we will wait till it is done all right so seems like it is now doing some more research and this time around it is specifically searching for mckinsey gartner trends okay so it basically went ahead and opened up google and searched for ai predictions 2026 mckinsey gartner trends all right so the ai agent is doing some deep deep research so let's wait for it to complete anyways it has now opened up a pdf file look at that so it just searched for the keyword and found a pdf file and now it has opened up the pdf file and now it will analyze the content and then create the content and publish the same to linkedin so let's wait anyways so there you go after doing some extensive research it has created the content and post the same to my linkedin account so let me quickly go ahead and open my linkedin account head back to my profile and let me scroll down and there you go here we have the future of ai in 2026 beyond the hype and here's what really coming and here we have the linkedin post ready so let me quickly delete it for now because this is my real linkedin account so let me delete it so there you go so basically the ai agent used the computer to do the research and find all the important and relevant information that we need and created the content and then posted the same to linkedin i know all of these are examples of different kind of automations that you can achieve using lindy and not just that you can even explore the template section right here to find even more templates that you can start using in just a single click and if you feel like the template is not quite like what you want you can use the agent builder to modify the template to suit your use case and then take it up from there and not to mention lindy also has integrations with hundreds of different third-party services apps and websites so that is also a really good thing and if you do want to use the newest agent builder in lindy all you're going to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to lindy.ai sign up for a new account and you can use the agent builder to create ai agents just by typing exactly what you want and no you don't have to struggle fiddling with all these nodes and connecting them together and configuring it you no longer have to do that you just explain exactly what you want to do to this AI agent builder right here and it does pretty much everything so that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one